Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and today we have the Amazon Basics Microwave with ALEXA built in. Let's check it out and set it up. Let's set this thing up. Let's start by opening the ALEXA app. Then tap the devices button near the bottom right of your screen. Next, hit the plus sign near the top right of your screen. Some options will pop up near the bottom of the screen. Tap add device. Next, scroll through the list and find and tap on microwave. Tap Amazon basics. Tap next, you may need to allow access to Bluetooth. Next, it'll ask you to press two on your microwave for four seconds. Here's what happened when I tried to do it. Yep, it failed. And then it failed again. Eventually it worked. All right, guys, after some messing around, it finally worked. Microwave for five seconds. Five seconds. Now watch, I don't have an Echo Dot set up right here just yet. So you do have to have the app or another Echo device in order for it to work. So let's give this a try. Microwave for five seconds. Nothing. Push the button. Microwave for five seconds. Maybe you gotta hold it in. Microwave for five seconds. Nada. So this was a pretty painless setup. It failed a couple times, but after that, it worked pretty smoothly. It works pretty good as a conventional microwave, but you can also use She Who Should Not Be Named from Amazon to microwave your food. One downside is that this microwave is only 700 watts. The higher the wattage, the faster it will cook your food, and most directions are based on 1000 watts or 1100 watts. So this will be a little bit slower at cooking your food. So you might have to add a little additional time to the directions when you're microwaving your food. This might be a good choice if you're trying to find a microwave to be able to use with a generator or a solar power system or something like that where you have a limited amount of power output in one time. Say you have a 3000 watt generator, this thing's only going to take 700 watts versus 1000 or 1100 watts, so that gives you an extra three or 400 watts to use for light bulbs or whatever else. When I was looking to buy a microwave, I was looking at multiple different websites, and this one just happened to be on the list for the best microwaves on multiple different websites. Based on some more experimentation, you cannot start the microwave if it's been too long. She just tells you that the microwave door has been closed for too long and she refuses to do it. Microwave for 10 minutes. The microwave door has been inactive for too long. Also, you can't check how much time is left on the microwave remotely. She just says that that feature isn't supported yet. So based on the word yet, maybe we have a feature to look forward to.
How much time is left on the microwave? That's not supported yet. You can start the microwave with your voice using she who should not be named from Amazon without ever having to push the buttons. But for the time being, this seems like kind of a gimmicky feature because you have to be able to reach to the microwave and touch it in order to put your food in anyway. So what's the difference if you have to use your finger to push the buttons or to use your voice? I gotta be honest and say I don't really quite think that I'm ever gonna need the ability to use she who shall not be named to microwave my food because when I'm just standing there I can't imagine just thinking hmm if only I didn't have to push four buttons it's so much work it seems like occasionally being able to put something in ahead of time and being able to tell her to start the microwave remotely would be a convenient feature it also seems like a missed opportunity where Amazon could have put in a feature where you could ask remotely how much time is left on the microwave. Imagine, you need to put some food in to defrost out of your freezer and it's going to take a while. Meanwhile, you think, well, maybe I'll go put in some laundry or maybe I'll go rake some leaves or whatever. It would be nice to be able to use the app remotely and ask how much time is left on the microwave. So do I recommend this microwave? Well, overall, it seems like a decent microwave. It seems like it works fairly well as a conventional microwave where you hit the buttons manually. But having the voice assistant feature built right in without her being able to do anything that you can do while you're standing right in front of the microwave seems like kind of a gimmick at this time. If they add the ability to check how much time is left on the microwave remotely and the ability to start the microwave even after the door's been shut for a little while, I think it would be a decent feature. For now, I wouldn't buy the microwave for that feature alone. You guys know I love smart home tech, and I do find the idea of a microwave with a voice assistant intriguing. I just think that it's not very useful right now without those features. So if you need a microwave, great. It seems to be a decent one, I just wouldn't buy it specifically for the voice assistant. Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Amazon Basics microwave with she who shall not be named built in. If you have any thoughts or questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you down there. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Of course, now when I sit down, there's a button of traffic. Wait, it works just fine just like a normal white mic. So you might have to add a little bit of time to the directions when you're... So you might have to... Then you could use the ass. <laughs> when I was looking into buying a mic... When I was looking into buying... I was looking into buying the microwave, this white mic. So, so far, I really think this seems to be a good one. If you don't want to have to hit the buttons, or you want to be able to just micro start without having to walk all the way to the microwave. If you have any thoughts or comments, drop them in the comments. <laughs> so, do I recommend this microwave? Well, overall, it seems like a decent microwave. It seems it seems able to do much for you that you can't do when you're sit standing. But if you, so if you need a microwave, great. It seems to be a deep. So if you need a microwave, great. It seems to be a deep. If they add the ability to, if they add the ability to, uh,